Hello, all of my YouTube friends. I hope all is doing well. I'm doing fantastic today. Brianna, now that she's 16, she's going to be uh, looking for work for a job. So we're gonna uh, be driving to a couple places and she's going to drop off her resume. My daughter got this for me, this book here, Dr. Paul. It says, never turn your back on an Angus cow. Now, he has a series that's been going on for about two years now, or longer, on um, the uh, National Geographic channel. So if you ever get a chance, take a look. If you like to know uh, about farm animals and how a vet takes care of them, he not only takes care of farm animals, he also takes care of other animals, that other pets that people have, like dogs, cats even birds, lizards, rats, you name it. Any pet comes in that needs attention, needs help, he never turns them away. He will look at them and he will take care of them. And he uses the old methods of, like, because he was trained in, in his country of, um, of the Netherlands. They do old school where it's all hands-on, where they look at the animals, they look at their, you know, their teeth and their eyes and their tongue and, 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 and see how they are and, you know, and, and they also do checks too, like they physically check the body. And if something's not working, he will, you know, he will work on them and, and he never turns an animal away. So, yeah. So this is fantastic. I like his series. I watch it whenever it's on. And now I have the book. So yeah, I got it from the library. I also, I'm looking for clothes and I'm a, I'm, I'm not a skinny chick. Let's, let's face that, right? I'm a big chick, but I'm on the lower end of a big chick scale, I guess. So it's hard for me to find clothing that fits. And plus I'm petite. So uh, yeah, it's hard. I'm petite and I'm plus size. So it's hard. So most shops I go into, like I went into Pennington's, that used to be my favorite store. And I would find shirts and pants and jeans and nice clothing that some of them would fit me and some wouldn't because they kind of tailor for the taller lady. So, but I managed to find some, some items because in that store, my sizing is a 16 or an X, size X for shirts and size 16 P for pants. Um, yeah, that's what 16 petite, that's what that means. And an X is like the smallest size in the store. And I've discovered that all their prices have skyrocketed. I usually go into their discount section because their prices are pretty pricey. They're starting from 40 all the way up to $80. In pants and shirts when I went to their to their discount area or just looking around in the store in general I noticed that their prices are 60 to over a hundred dollars I mean Brie was with me and I said Brie take a look at this there was a shirt that was discounted it was a hundred and twenty dollars originally their discount price was ninety nine dollars I said what is this because and then on top of that, you would get, I think, 50% off, but that's not worth it. Because before I would, you know, the clothes would be drastically reduced and then you get another 50% off or whatever their sale was on top of that. But I don't know, I used to find shirts there for 15, maybe $20 the highest. Pants were like $40. Now they're going at 60, 70, 80 dollars for a shirt or a pants, so, so that's ridiculous. So now I found a new store. Um, it's called Marshalls. Um, it's a states, it's a US store, and they came to our area about a year ago. And um, yeah, I went in there one time, it was around the Christmas season, and oh my gosh, it was so crowded with people and everything was so disorganized. and. I just couldn't shop, I couldn't focus. So I said, uh-uh, I'm not going in there. But then, you know, 
looking around, I said, okay, let, let's go into Marshalls and let, let's see what's going on in there. I tried it again and you wouldn't believe, I found clothing in my size. They have an area for plus size women. And I found some new items and they were going from $30 to maybe $35. Got some clothing. I also picked up some houseware items at Marshalls and they were at fantastic prices. See this in front of us here? Looks like a jet ski on wheels. I like <laughs> this. That's my dream motorbike. It's got three wheels, two on either side and one in the back. And it's for two people. That's what I want to get one day because I want to go, I want to drive a motorbike after seeing um, Norman from Walking Dead with his new series. 